Hey YouTube. <clears throat> so this is a video on a 2012 BMW X3. So <clears throat> my wife was having um, an issue with um, all the audio stopped working. And um, <clears throat> so basically, if you have this vehicle, uh, 2012 BMW X3, then um, you know, same uh, controls possibly as this. And she was just driving. Um, she bought this used and uh, beautiful car. Um, was immaculate inside and out. <clears throat> but it has given me two problems, which um, I'm going to go over this one and then I'll go over the other one with you. Um, so she was driving and basically all the audio stopped, um, which totally stunk because... Uh, all the audio so everything is connected so your you know the microphones for um, the phone everything that has to do with audio you know door signals chimes um, radio basically everything that makes sound <clears throat> just stopped working and uh, watched some YouTube videos um, there was nothing specific on this specific model which is why I always like to try and uh, create video. So, uh, let's get going. So basically <clears throat> in your glove box, um, I'll walk you over here. Let me get out of the car and go over that side. <clears throat> Actually, I'll go to the rear first. So in this model, you have two spots for, um, uh, fuses. This just pulls and comes open pretty easily. Uh, you can move it out of the way and then you just pull this uh, sound stuff out of the way and you can see these are a bunch of fuses um, so I'm going to show you an like before I uh, you know I started trying to help her I'm just going to tuck this out of the way so I can use one hand if I possibly can so I started trying to help her um, with this now if you have this model this right here is a uh, diagram uh, of all of your fuses and stuff like that. Uh, it's a nice little spot that they tucked it away in here. Again, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed and keep the video going. And of course, it's gonna be testy with me. I'll do it this way, that'll be easier. So, slides there. This is your little uh, remove tool. Um, so we Googled all of the fuses that could possibly have died that would make that um, the, all the audio stop working. And we found which ones they were. And on this diagram, it shows where they were, where they are. Um, so I started pulling them out. Um, so there's this area back here in the rear of the vehicle. And then in the driver's uh, passenger side, glove compartment, this one is an absolute nightmare. So moving this stuff out of the way, um, trying to get in, you see that little tab there you pull this down and way deep inside there you can see some fuses and so on um, they go way up inside and they're really deep absolute nightmare to try and get to them but I was able to <clears throat> had to use some needle nose pliers um, and I had such a hard time getting them back in that I remembered um, there's a better way to check your fuses so uh you know the first thing you should do is check your fuses before you do what i'm going to show you is the fix if you don't have one of these you're going you're gonna to want to buy one uh it's just a 6 to 12 volt circuit lead tester uh five foot leads great um so let me open this up you got to turn your vehicle on not like started or anything just so there's like power uh, of course I'm just gonna put the key closer so now it's you know got power as you can see um, so now take your little tester back here and <clears throat> you just got this end here um, squeeze thing. I got this at Harbor Freight, by the way. You just need to put it on something metal. 
so it's connected there right now on that little tab and now rather than pulling out each and every one of these fuses I can just touch it and see how that light is there that lets me know that the fuse is good if you don't get a light see that one got a light as well and all you're doing is touching the little metal piece this two pieces of metal see and that lights up so this is a fast way of checking fuses so you don't have to remove them you definitely want to get one of these see that will save you from now these were all easy to get to and pull out and put back in the ones that i showed you in the glove box horrible and again just this metal tab it has to be something metal to ground this whole thing out <clears throat> so after going through all of the fuses uh realizing that that wasn't it um more research trying to figure out all right what other things can possibly be the problem so I'll pull this out and you have these two here um now incidentally if i can get to it you see this one right here see it has the green wire uh, the green wires are usually your um, optical wires. There's another one at the back side of this over here. So you have to remove this screw, basically take everything out of here, put the seats down. This whole thing has to come out so you can gain access to the back of this, to the side where all these wires are. We're not going to do that in this video because uh, I've already done it. So I'm just going to try and get this out with one hand. So you see that red light? See how it's blinking? Blinking, blinking means that it's working. They sell this part that I have um, that you can check. Essentially, you connect it to this and it creates a loop. So it's tricking the whole system back there, that system, that, that head unit, into thinking that um, it, basically you're removing this from the equation. So it, it keeps the circuit going. Um, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, if it works, that means that this thing's gone. Um, if it doesn't work, it's possible that it's not gone. Long story short, um, that didn't really help. It helped me figure out that I was getting uh, the, you know, the wires, the optical wires were working. Basically, that's all it helped me figure out. But I never got audio back. So I had to figure out what these two units were. So I try to take some pictures of, you know, the code here. Uh, there's another one on the back of here. So you, you can see I can get my hand back here. I took my camera or the phone and I put it back there and I flashed some pictures rather than trying to pull this out. And I was able to get what this is. So this is an amp actually right here. So let me plug this back in real quick. Incidentally, that loop that I'm talking about, you can buy on eBay. I don't know. It didn't help me. Still have it in case I need it down the road, uh, but don't waste your money on it. It's like 12 or 24 bucks, something like that. I can't remember. Um, basically, if you can see this glowing back on and off, you know that the wire is working. So, uh, but it still doesn't help you figure out which one of these units is bad. Um, in this model, there were only two units that work with the uh, audio. <clears throat> um, anyway, I figured out this was it now when I opened this whole compartment I could smell it kind of smelled like something had burned or something so I knew all right it had to be something over here and I just didn't know which one uh, after seeing the tag on this and the tag on that this was an amp to me amp is power um, if you lose your amp then pretty much everything dies that's basically what what happened so I'm going to show you uh, the amp and basically, this is it right here, this guy. So this is the unit head, and that's the tag that you can see in the back. Like I said, I went behind and took a few pictures or whatever. And you can see that this is the same unit. <clears throat> so this unit, um, I pulled out, but basically I bought this whole unit. It cost me $450 on eBay, which totally stunk. Um, it should, should have been less. Now I saw them even more expensive, 650. Again, this is for used, so it was already a used unit that we bought. 
the 650 was also used. I think buying these new were like a couple grand. Long story short, uh, once I got it, the, the new used one, let's pretend this is it. I just brought it back there, disconnected these two plugs, uh, three plugs, one, two, three. I think that's all it was here. Yeah. So these three plugs and plugged them into the new used unit and then tried everything and all the audio came back. Um, so that let me know that obviously this was the problem. It wasn't the fuses. Smarter to check the fuses first because there's like five or six that can burn out and replacing fuses is a lot cheaper than replacing this unit here. Once I got it out, I uh, took all these screws that you can see off, all those screws, and I pulled this out that it's just a tray and then you'll see a circuit board in here and you can lift it up. There's a ribbon like the old, you know, desktop computers, one of those thick gray ribbons that connect the, the board to another board below. So when you lift it out, it's going to be attached. You can just separate that ribbon and then it's one piece. Well, all these spots here, uh, they're like these circuits that are kind of touching this whole, running this whole length on both sides. And then there's a bunch of other stuff in there. I'm not a circuit board guy. Um, I don't even know what it was, but I could see one of them was burned. And um, on the back of this cover, there's like a rubber gasket inside here. It's gray. That was also charred. So that let me know that that's burned. I'm going to try and have this repaired at a uh, electronics place because again, used I paid $450 if this goes again and I can get this fixed so it does work for 100 bucks or less now I got a good backup either that or I could always sell it on eBay but I think I'll save it because it's so expensive in case it happens again so this was it um, it is an amp and as soon as I replaced it all the audio audio sounds came back and everything I'm gonna start this so that little bling and I'll turn the radio on so you can hear. Oops, I turned it off. Uh, let's just go to, I'm trying to, this is actually my wife's car, so. So now we got jamming on. So you can hear, I don't want to play it too long because YouTube will cancel the video. Anyway, so you can hear the audio does work. Um, the phone and everything, everything works. The total problem was this. So like I said, um, check all of the fuses. Uh, you can, I'll try and put a link to the place that I found it. I just Googled, you know, 2012 um, BMW X3 fuses that like go to audio. And it came up with this page and it showed all the specific remember that sheet i showed you in the back that's all folded up where the um fuses are it it showed a diagram of which ones go to which parts of the audio system i tested all those the ones that were in the glove box and the ones that are in the back um all the fuses were fine so like i said use that tester because you can reach back there i will say that you can't reach them all from that door <clears throat> i actually had to take the whole inside of this out close this door um, underneath there um, you can remove that I think there's only through three screws not this door but there's like a plastic panel I'll go back around and show you because I know everybody likes seeing things there's a plastic panel um, that you can remove there was like three screws it was really no big deal at all um, kind of defeats the purpose if I don't show you again I'm, this is kind of a pain to put back in it's not too bad but with stuff in the way it's I just don't want to break it while I'm uh, I'll put it in after the video but looking down here this panel here so there's only a few screws like one two three holding this whole thing in this will just come right down there's a wire connected because somewhere under here I think it's right here there's a light and um, that just shines you actually you can see it over in the corner that light so there's a cable connected to that just pull it down and move it off to the side 
you know, put it over to the side. And then you can get up and get some more access to the other fuses in there. Uh, use that tester, touching it to each one of those. Keep track of the ones that you do um, using that card that you have, you know, in the back. And once you test it all, the one, I tested every single fuse just because I'm already in here anyway. Some of the fuses also, incidentally, will not light up. Um, and that doesn't mean they're bad. Some of them go to like your horn. Well, obviously your horn's not gonna need power to it all the time because you're not, otherwise the horn would always stay beep, you know, on. So there are a few like windshield wipers, things like that. So check on the diagram sheet that you're gonna get in the back up here. And when you're testing them, make sure, see what it goes to. If it goes to like windshield wipers, well, obviously they, if, you, if it was always on, they'd always be on. Stuff like that. Um, but make sure you definitely check all the ones that go to the audio system and make sure that, you know, it's squared away. Um, and that's basically it. You know, like I said, had to remove uh, this panel. Wasn't too bad. There was like three screws, one here, this one inside this little cup here, and one down in the corner. Um, then there's these right here. All this is is plastic. Just get a regular screwdriver. I'll try my fingernails and shit sorry um so this pulls out and then it allows you to just pop this right up and it's just like you know plastic and with the other thing in it it gets wider so that it fits in the hole and stays there so this makes that whole thing wider so it will stay in there that's it there's two of these one up further that way um same thing for any of those plastic ones that you see that's how they work pretty easy uh once I did take this unit out, uh, I had to take the whole thing off. There's a screw there, a uh, screw there. There's a screw, where is it? Oh, right there, um, that you have to take off because that's connected to, the, to this uh, dark uh, framework here. And basically there's two more of these, one up top there and one down in there. Now, once I get this out, you still get wires connected to it. I mean, you can remove them, whichever ones that you want. Getting this off of this frame was a pain in the butt, and I'll show you why. I just used a screwdriver to pry, and uh, then it finally came off. So you see these fins right here? These fins slide into um, like a receiver on that frame. And even though I took all those screws off, and this top one that I showed you, this top one screws it to the frame. Um, even though I did that, I couldn't just pull it off. And that's because these are grabbing um, part of that frame. So you see how this one's lifted just a little? Basically what I started to do is I took a screwdriver and I stuck it in between this and the frame and I just started to pry a little bit. And then when I got a decent sized gap, I just tried to pull it and the whole thing came off. So, I mean, this will just push back down. I left it up in case I ever have to use it again. But you can see how those are all more down and that one's up more. Just a little bit. That's because I started to pry it and then it just pulled right away from the unit. Um, but that was it. So that'll save you a little trouble. Uh, I mean, the only other thing I could add is I had used a... Uh, I'll do that for another video. So anyway, that's all I got for this video. Audio does work. Everybody did hear that. Um, it didn't work at all. She couldn't use any of the radio, any of that. She couldn't use the, um, the phone or, you know, with Bluetooth. There was no sounds. But now all the sounds are back, and it was this amp right here. Again, look on eBay. Try and find a used one. Um, you can also try and have yours repaired. If you have any places local that work on circuit boards and stuff, I just don't know how much it'll cost. I haven't tried to get uh, mine fixed yet. And um, maybe that's even cheaper than the 450. Um, but that is the problem if you've tested all the fuses and none of the fuses are blown. If you get a fuse that you find is blown that goes to the audio, replace that fuse with the same type of fuse. Don't buy, um, you know, don't put different color fuses in or anything like that. Make sure it's exactly the same, 5 amps, 10, 13, whatever it is, and, and just use that. Um, and if the audio comes back, you're lucky. We just were not lucky. So I think that's it. Uh, without further ado, again, 
The last thing is just this tester. Again, that's what it's called. You saw how great it works, way easier than pulling them all out and so on. So that's all I got YouTube. Sorry the video was a little long, but uh, you know, all the research and effort that, I, that we put into it for a couple days um, kind of wasn't paying off. So I'm just trying to save you guys the trouble. So again, this is for a 2012 BMW X3 uh, and it was an audio issue. So that's all I got YouTube. You got any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up on YouTube. Please subscribe because I try to make these videos, um, you know, and if they do help you, uh, you know, I've gotten help from YouTube videos as well. And basically I'm just trying to get the channel to grow. So uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, rate, comment, concerns, please put there and uh, see you next time on uh, YouTube. Thanks guys.